What's going on guys? My name is Brandon and today we are going to line the gas tank to our 34 year old Honda Quad project that you see here over my shoulder. Let's get going. So if you've been following along with this build, you'll know that last week we stripped down any rust that was off the frame using a product called Metal Rescue. If you haven't seen that episode, I'll put a link up above. And this week, what we're gonna be doing is we are going to be lining the gas tank. If you haven't seen the first episode where we cleaned this out and flushed out the tank, I'll put a link to that episode up above. But this gas tank had a lot of rust in it. We used a product called Metal Rescue, washed out the inside of the tank, got the rust out of it. I did end up finding that it had a little pinhole around here, around these flanges, a little bit leaked out. So we're gonna use a product called Red Coat, made specifically for fuel tanks. It's resistant to alcohol and most fuel additives, stays flexible, uh, it will never crack or peel off, easily covers rust, uh, seals old rust in and prevents future rusting, and it seals leaks. Gets the multitude of pinholes that you can't see. Uh, I've used this stuff before. This is really good stuff. It's super simple to use, but it's quite volatile. So there are a few things. You don't want to breathe it. Some pretty brutal stuff to smell. So we're going to need a respirator. We're going to want to cover our hands. This stuff can be pretty tough on paint. We're not going to worry about that here because none of this tank you see, because the way this fits, this neck fits up through the plastic, so it won't matter. So let's get started, and we'll get started on coating this tank. For right now, I've sealed off the inlets and outlets for the fuel reserve, so we'll be dumping it, the product down through here, sloshing it around, and then we'll be putting it back into the can, and I'll probably end up doing two coats on this. I apologize for that fan sound, guys. I've got the shop ventilation on because this stuff is pretty brutal, but wait do you see the color. Look at that. Isn't that neat? I love the color of it. If you've Never smelled this, guys. This stuff smells just like finger polish. So you're going to want to have a thing of acetone ready on standby with some rags because I presume I am probably going to spill a little bit on this tank. If that is a concern, you're going to want to tape off all of this stuff. This stuff is wicked corrosive. As I mentioned in last week's episode, I'm going to put a list of materials that we're using down in the video description. And when this project is finally complete, I'm going to add everything up that we spent on this to see how much we have in this budget build. Now I only needed to do probably only a half of that quart, guys, for, for something like this. But, um, yeah, I just poured the whole thing in to make it easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to squish it around. Now I'm going to put some uh, saran wrap over this, screw the cover on, and then literally tip the whole tank upside down. I say to put this cover back on immediately so it doesn't force a skin over it. But look at that color. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. All right, let's get back to it, guys. So when you're doing this, guys, just make sure you have a well-ventilated area. You can see I'm wearing a respirator here. This stuff is really brutal. It smells just like fingernail polish remover. It's very strong. Yeah, all right, guys, now I'm going to take off these ports right here, take the tape off, and we're going to drain the tank through these. I had two options when I decided to line this tank. One, I could have gone with a plastic replacement gas tank for about $100, and that would have guaranteed that I never have another problem in the future. And I really struggled with sticking with this original tank and lining it. But the reason I went with the original tank and lining it, because I'm trying to keep within the theme of a budget build, something that is reasonable to everybody out there. And if money is a concern, which it is to most all of us, then a $30 can of this red coat coating your existing tank is the economical way to go. And if I do this right, it should work just as good as having a plastic tank. Not to mention that keeping the original tank adds a lot more value to the four wheeler. So now it has been a couple days later and the tank liner has had some time to dry. I'm going to actually put in a second coat just to make sure and that's recommended in the label if you want to do that. You can see that it's even all the way up into the filler neck area so that's all nicely coated. Then what I'll do is probably just take uh, around this rim here just clean that up when it's all said and done. But. 
I'm not going to worry about it now because I want to do a second coat. One other concern that you need to be thinking about when you're doing this is making sure that you don't block off these. Any vents or uh, fuel line ports that you have, you got to keep them clear. So what I did was, is I just took a little bit of compressed air and periodically just put a little bit of air down through so I knew that they, that these were open. And you could also run like a drill bit down through them or, or a pipe cleaner or, or anything like that. Just as long as you're making sure that, that these are uh, cleaned out and that uh, they're not plugged up. Because if these get plugged, then you're in for a real problem. Like I was just telling you about putting down just a little protective barrier around your tank. I'm just gonna do it, because it's probably a good idea to do it, and it's actually gonna save me a little bit of cleanup while I'm pouring it, because I know it's gonna dump, so. Might as well put it on now if I know it's already gonna be a problem, right? I'm glad I did put this tape on here, because as you'll see in a minute, I did end up spilling a bunch of this tank liner on the top of the tank. So that'll uh, just prevent any spills from around the neck. Because I'm afraid if I wipe the acetone too many times on this paint, it's gonna take it off. This is the factory paint that's on there. Like I mentioned in last week's episode, if you didn't see that, I'll put a link up above, but uh, these gas tanks are uh, fairly expensive to, to buy. You can get a replacement in plastic and it would avoid doing everything I'm doing here because you never have to worry about the tank rusting out, but they're like a hundred bucks. It's kind of nice to keep it original. I'm torn. I'm torn between doing something once uh, because we know that plastic is going to work perfectly. So that's like a hundred bucks. I can't remember what this is. I think this is about 30, but I just, I kind of want to keep it stock. So I kind of like the idea of, you know, OEM stock, everything bolts up. Oh, I know I keep saying it guys, but look at the color of this. Isn't it awesome? I'm not going to put as much. Ugh. That's why I lined it. Yeah, I did that on purpose actually, just so I could feel like it did something. Something that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're really gonna to wanna to clean the rim of your uh, can if you're gonna to try to save it because what's gonna happen is is that you will never be able to get the lid back off because this stuff will seal the lid right to itself. I thought I was being clever by putting some saran wrap over this last time and then putting the lid on, but apparently this stuff is so caustic that it literally just ate the saran wrap from underneath the cover, so. This stuff smells, like I said, I called it finger polish, but you know what I mean. Fig like it smells like acetone. It smells like fingernail polish remover. It's wicked, uh, it's got a wicked strong odor to it. Which is why I was wearing a respirator. Yeah. Let's slosh this around a little bit. Make sure everything's coated well. I was reading the directions, one of the biggest problems that they get reported to them, and it's a real low failure rate apparently, is that you leave some of this pulled up inside the tank and it doesn't cure properly. And that the tank is wet, that when you wash out your tank and clean it that you never dry it completely before applying it and it says it'll come off in sheets if you don't. But I've heard real good uh, stories about this coating. I've used it. Uh, I used it years ago on a classic, uh, I think it was a 63 Corvette uh, split window coupe that I was working on. And uh, that's the first time I ever came in contact with it. And a lot of, uh, a lot of the professional you know, car restorers, a lot of the ones that use high-end stuff, they'll line tanks. There's a lot of these you know, old classic cars, you just, sometimes you can't find parts for them. And this quad is very much the same as that. There are a lot of parts on these quads that you just can't find anymore. That they're just, they're discontinued. All the OEM parts are discontinued. This part for my chain guard is a classic example of that. And you can see it's broken and it slips inside the chain guard. It, it, just kind of like keeps the chain from rubbing in the spot, but it's broken. I might have to repair it or find an alternate method, but uh, I've been scrubbing the internet for days trying to find one of these. So if you guys know where I can find one of these little chain guard pieces, uh, hook me up and let me know and uh, put it down in the comments and I will, uh, I will respond to you. So yeah, but some of these things on these quads are hard to find. This is, they only made it for two years, 85 and 86, that's it. So there's not a huge demand for, for parts for these. And when there is, the prices are usually pretty expensive. 
So there, we got a second coat in it. Everything's all been dumped out of it. And I just kind of go through and just put a little bit of air through these lines just to make sure everything's freed up and clear because we don't want anything plugged up obviously when we're done so i think this will work great and you know what if it doesn't i think that uh chemical was only like 30 bucks so if it doesn't work out then we'll just get a plastic tank for it and be done with it and that's all there is to it guys i want to thank you for watching thank you guys for tuning in tune in next week where we are going to start getting this in paint and getting it put back together if you want to find out what i'm working on before it even makes it up to youtube you guys can catch me on facebook and on instagram if this is something that you like don't forget to rate comment and subscribe new videos every friday until next week guys i will see you then take care stay safe see ya come, come.